So just with my current project at the minute, I thought um, as I had to make some belts, I'd uh, do a little instructional video out, out of it and just uh, pull that out of the build video and do it as a standalone. So um, this is in 135th scale, but it sort of applies to any scale really. It just gets a little bit more fiddly. Um, so here you can see I'm bending some copper wire, which is uh, quite malleable, just to make some loops uh, like the sort of wire clasps that are on the belts um, it's all a bit by eye it doesn't really matter too much but it's just to give some sort of visual interest so it's not just uh, masking tape and um, for the German belts this they look roughly like this and um, to make sure I get the right thickness for, for all the belts I'm using the Infini easy cutting mat here you can see uh, it's type A and uh, they're very useful um, you could do a video on um, on them alone, actually, they're that good. Uh, maybe I'll do that shortly. So um, here you can see that it gives you a nice uh, straight line, and um, I've used two of those lines in, in that size there. And now we need, uh, this is the fiddly part, so we've got to put the clasp on the end of the tape. As I've done it all by eye, there, there, as soon as I turned the camera on, it had to be, uh, they were a little bit too small, so after a bit of fiddling, I uh, managed to get the tape through, and then you just fold it over, and it looks quite realistic. And that then gives you the clasp at the end of the belt, um, and these are the lap belts, so... Uh, it doesn't really matter, I, I must admit, but the um, the belts that come over the shoulder harnesses, they're a little bit um, different uh, with the clasp at the bottom, so you just need to try and make it more into a triangle, but these are, are flattened. Um, and now this is a nice technique, that, uh, that if you just bend up the masking tape like this, and then you can put the other loop over the top, and it looks like the belt has been threaded through. Now to, uh, you could do that differently, I've just done it like this, but you could also uh, make a actual wire class so in that um, piece of wire there you could have a piece of metal going across as well and thread the belt through it, uh, but I chose not to do that in this case. And then just with a dab of super glue it firms it all up. And you're left with the beginning of a belt there. Um, then we've got, uh, there's, a, there's a sort of lap um, protector I guess uh, for the metal bit so that when it's um, across the pilot's lap I, I, I imagine it stops it sort of rubbing um, and uh, so that I've just depicted by a piece of masking tape cut roughly to the shape and then turned over so the sticky side's going up and now I've stuck the actual belt onto that and there we are with the finished shape so I've added all them to the uh, trusty bottle lid ready for um, painting. Uh, so now it's time to tackle the shoulder harnesses um, and as I said they, uh, the German ones have a sort of slight triangle which is offset so it's like a straight edge and then it goes off at an angle um, and that straight edge is on the inside so here you can see hopefully you see what I'm talking about um, and that's so this is the right hand one looking at it when you sat in the chair it would be in the left hand shoulder harness and again, same applies, we're making that uh, threaded through bit there, much in the same way. And uh, these always look quite long, but it's best to have too much because you can always cut it off. And uh, it's surprising how long some of these need to be when you actually get them over the back of the seat. And it all, uh, all gets there in the end. Now I've actually skipped the painting stage because there wasn't a lot to it. They were sprayed with um, XF57 buff. And then I picked out the lever parts, so that's the bits on the lap harnesses uh, with, as you just saw, XF79. There's the buff colour that they were sprayed to give them a kind of uh, uh, textile look. And then um, picked out the say it's silver buckles with Mr. Colour 8, which is a lacquer paint and it's uh, pretty good. It's okay for brush painting small parts. Um, and here you can see the, the benefit of having the belts like this. that. 
they are very much like those fabric belts you can you can buy. Um, they actually behave quite nicely, and uh, you can get a, a good natural sort of sag from them. Which is a little bit better than um, X Metal, which can be a bit rigid. So these fold in quite nicely with the smallest amount of glue. And you can see the lap harnesses are on at the back, and uh, there's a close-up of the lap harnesses for the pilot seat. I think overall it's a bit stark at the minute. We do hit them with an oil wash at the end. And now we're just applying with super glue. Um, the, it, there being a little bit of the sticky bit left where I've, I've not sprayed it, it does sort of tack down. And I'm just trying to get a kind of natural pose. I was hoping to have them hanging down, but I actually chose in the end just to have them laying on the, the seat. Uh, this is for a Pfizer Storch, uh, if you're interested. This is what the actual kit is. And uh, there'll be a build of that coming to the channel very shortly. Just got the fuselage together after this uh, point in the video. And here you go, you can see I've uh, just test fitted it just to see how it, um, how the belts fit with those uh, bars that are along the side because it's quite a little complex uh, framework going on in the, this cockpit. And then you can see it's, it's very effective, I think. Um, this being 135th scale, there wasn't um, a lot of belts readily available in that scale. It's more 132nd for aircraft, so I thought I'd uh, go on and make these myself. It didn't take too long, it's just an evening's work to get those sorted, and um, it really livens up the, the cockpit. Uh, so, like I was saying, they are stuck. You could leave them like this, um, and I don't think there's probably any, any issue with that, but I wanted to tone them down a bit, so uh, I used some oil washes with raw umber, just thinned, as you can see I'm applying now, uh, put it on quite heavy and then um, wick it off with a cotton bud. Uh, you'll see the pictures at the end, I, I, I think it's still a bit heavy, I haven't finished this build yet so I'll probably go over them again, although saying that I haven't noticed it so it might be the pictures have, uh, have picked up the oils a bit heavier than they actually are. Um, but you've always got uh, time before I actually put the um, canopy on this one. I'll just check those belts again, just make sure I'm happy with them. And you could go to a lot more detail. This is really basic stuff. This isn't um, super detailed seat belts. I mean, you'd have to go a bit deeper in the levels to, to get that uh, to a super detailed effect. You could add some of the stitching and stuff that's missing, um, but that's a bit beyond my skills. So I'm uh, happy to leave it as it is. Now I'm just trying to get the oils just to stop them pulling up quite so thick where it's getting a little bit dark and uh, now we're just going to take them back a little bit and try and blend that in. It's more giving them a stain as opposed to actually um, giving them a heavy wash. Just want to dull that buff colour. Uh, sorry, take the brightness off of the buff colour and, and um, tone it down a bit with some browns. Uh, you could go over with a few other colours as well to pick out uh, definition around the buckles. But this was uh, good enough for what I wanted. And uh, important not to forget the rear of the seat as well, which uh, is uh, I've done before. I think that's quite effective, that's uh, gone some way to tone them down and as you see in the pictures they're about to follow. Um, it gives a, a quite a nice effect, dirties them up a little bit but not too much. Um, so hopefully this was of interest and um, if you're thinking about doing your own belts hopefully you can find something uh, useful in this video. Um, and as I say, keep an eye out if you're interested in the build that will be coming shortly. Uh, this is the Pfizer Storch 135th scale from TriStar, so that will be on the channel soon, uh, barring any massive disasters. So as usual, thank you for viewing the um, video, and uh, if you've got any comments, please post them below. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.